Welcome, fellow data detectives, to our thrilling journey into the world of Car Crashes dashboard using the powerful combination of SQL and Power BI. Today, we will be embarking on an exciting project exploring the intricacies of data analysis and visualization like never before. Our first mission is to obtain the crucial data regarding car crashes. We will access the vast data set retrieving valuable information using SQL queries and loading it into our database. The second step will be the cleaning of data. Every great detective knows that cleaning data is the foundation of accurate insights. We will scrub the data, eliminating errors, inconsistencies and outliers. A pristine data set is a key to unlock the truth hidden within. Third step will be transformation of the data. We will apply our analytical prowess, crafting meaningful relationships and aggregations. Watch as a raw data converts into a treasure trove of information. Fourth step will be exporting to Power BI. With our powerful and rich data in hand, we will begin our journey into the realm of Power BI. Witness the magic as we import the data, creating stunning visualizations and interactive dashboards. Fifth step will be the data validation and insightful queries. Our pursuit of truth doesn't end with visual. Using SQL queries, we will rigorously validate the insights from our dashboard. Each query will lead us closer to unveiling the story behind car crashes. So fasten your seat wheels, my fellow data detectives. Get ready to embark on this thrilling expedition of car crashes dashboard using SQL and Power BI. Together, we will decipher the patterns, expose hidden truths and make our roads safer. So before starting the project, first of all, let's see how our final dashboard will look like. So this is a car crash dashboard and we have created three cards on the first report that is the total crashes and what are the total in uh, fatal injuries and what are total injuries incapacitated okay then we have created column charts and bar charts to display the crashes and fatal injuries and incapacitated injuries uh, through visualization okay then we have uh, created five buttons to change uh, our visualization charts on the basis of the conditions given so first of all we have created the lighting condition when we click on the weather condition the chart will change so this will change similarly for the first crash type it will change for the primary cause type it will change and for the road defect also it will change okay in the second page what we have created is that we have shown the car crashes uh, on the basis of days months quarters and years Okay, so this will be our the line chart and it will be showing the number of crashes on each day. Uh, then we have used a button that will display the today's uh, crashes, uh, yesterday's crashes and then month till day crashes, quarter till day crashes and year till day crashes. Okay, so we have here used the dynamic uh, measures by using the dynamic measures we have created this button. Okay, uh, we will see. Uh, how how this dynamic measures had me created okay so in the next page we have shown the top 10 streets with the highest crashes and also the top injuries uh, top fatal injuries top 10 streets with the highest fatal injuries okay then we have shown the crashes uh, by uh, days and we have used here ribbon chart uh, for every year okay Then we used uh, the ribbon chart for total crashes by year in the street direction. Uh, this is also a ribbon chart and we will see how the street directions has affected the number of crashes. Okay, this is also a chart as per the requirement of the client. Uh, like this is the total crashes by crash year and the crash month and how it is changing uh, on year on year basis. Similarly. Uh, total crashes by cash crash year and the report type uh, whether the uh, reports are done on the C on the uh, accident scene or whether it is done on the desk so we will uh, see this differentiation also uh, first we are going to start by creating a database by using create database and let's give this name crashes okay 
let's run it and we have created our database now we will use this database which is crashes okay now we are going to create our table which will contain the data uh, and the table name is uh, crashes so we will delete or drop the table if it exists earlier and we will name the table by using crashes okay now we are going to create table crashes so this will be our table and there will be number of columns that will be available I have, I have already created the, the columns I am just going to copy and paste and I will explain all the columns that I have used okay so first is the crash ID which will be the primary key and uh, it will be the primary key and the end data type then we have crash date ideally crash date should be of uh, date data type however during import to make the uh, date uh, import process simpler without any errors we are going to set the data type or uh, of crash date as text however we will uh, change uh, during our uh, we will change the data type uh, during our queries okay then we have we have posted speed limit what was the posted speed limit and then we have traffic control device then we have device condition then we have weather conditions what were what what were the weather conditions during the crash then we have lighting conditions then we have first crash type what was the first crash type then we have the traffic way type then we have the lane count alignment these all variables are categorical so we have saved uh, used uh, varchar data type okay then we have roadway service condition then we have road defect then we have report type then we have crash type then we have hit and run then we have damage uh, then we have date police notified what was the uh, date when it uh, when the crash was notified to the police uh, it is also it uh, it should also be a date uh, type uh, date data type however for uh, easier import process we have we are importing it as a text okay then we have primary cause secondary cause of the crashes then we have street direction street name and then statement taken work zone what were the work zone then we have more severe injury then we have injuries what what were the total injuries by injuries underscore total then we have uh, injuries underscore fatal which will give us the fatal injuries then we have injuries uh, uh, which are incapacitated okay then we have non incapacitated injuries then we have reported not evident injuries then we have crash hour day of the week month latitude longitude and crash crash location so in this project we are not uh, bothering with the latitude lot, uh, longitude and the crash location so we can delete uh, that columns and this is our table so let's run uh, this query and create a table okay I forgot to remove the comma. Let's run this again. Now the create table uh, query has been executed and the table has been created. Now it's the time to import the data. So we are going to use the load data in file command. So we will use load data in file. Okay. And I will give the uh, path of uh, location uh, I will give the location where the our data file has been saved the CSV file has been provided in the description below you can download it and save in the locations uh, at uh, uh, C drive program data where you have the MySQL folder in the upload section and you can save uh, your data file in that folder only okay now we will create a use into table command and we will import our data in the crashes table and we know our fields are terminated terminated fields are terminated by we know the fields are terminated by comma as it is a data file a csv file and these are enclosed by double inverted commas okay and the new lines are terminated new lines are terminated by slash n so 
this is our selection and we will ignore our first row because it will be the header uh, row so we are going to exclude or in, uh, ignore the first row now let's run this command so as we can see that our data has been imported we have 686276 rows now let's create a new tab and use the table crashes that we have created we have created crashes table or crashes database this is the crashes database and now we are going to select all the rows from the crashes table okay let's see what are the let's see what are the rows that are imported so here we can see that uh, all the data has been imported uh, you can see first is the crash id then we have the crash date we have two types of two formats of crash date one is separated by slash and one is separated by hyphen then we have the date uh, time also then we have the posted speed limit and here we have the traffic control device then we have the device condition then we have the weather condition then we are uh, we are having the lighting condition there is daylight we will uh, see all the cate categories again then we have the first crash type then we have the traffic bay type then we have the lane count alignment so roadway surface condition then we have the road defect and then report type then we have the crash type and there are many other columns that we have already discussed okay so this was the loading the data part now we are going to see now we are going to see how we are going to clean the data in the next part